Oh, hi guys. It is a lovely late spring night, soon to be summer night. It is Monday night, June 19th, 2023, here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And uh, guys, my uh, battery light is blinking, and with any luck, uh the with any luck the camera will just shut off in the middle of this rant you know sometimes you something just crops out of nowhere in the mainstream media and when even i uh when hambone little tail has nothing to add of course all I have to add is this is uh, this is one more reason humans need to go extinct. One more reason humans need to go extinct from the BBC News global network of sadistic monkey torture exposed by BBC, and this is just a short version. They have the link. If, if this isn't enough, uh, you can go find a lot more than this. As I say, I'm hoping the uh, camera is going to shut off and I'm going to be talking to myself. Okay, take it away, BBC, and say everything you need to say about this except... The one thing I would add, one more reason humans need to go extinct. A year-long BBC investigation has uncovered a sadistic global monkey torture ring stretching from Indonesia to the United States. The World Service found hundreds of customers in the U.S., UK and elsewhere paying Indonesians to torture and kill baby long-tailed macaques on film. The torture ring began its life on YouTube before moving to private groups or the encrypted messaging app Telegram. Police are now pursuing the buyers, and several arrests have already been made. BBC journalists went undercover in one of the main telegram torture groups where hundreds of people gather to come up with extreme torture ideas and commission people in Indonesia and other Asian countries to carry them out. The sadist goal was to create films in which baby long-tailed macaque monkeys were abused, tortured, and sometimes, you know, if they were lucky, then killed on film. The BBC tracked down both the torturers in Indonesia and distributors and buyers in the U.S., and gained access to an international law enforcement effort to bring them to justice. There is one way to bring these motherfuckers to justice. Kill them. Kill them. Fucking torture, abuse, and kill them, and sell the uh, videos on Facebook. At least 20 people are now under investigation globally, including three women living in the UK who were arrested by police last year and released under investigation. Uh, one man in Oregon was indicted last week. Mike McCartney, a key video distributor in the U.S., known by his screen name, the Torture King, agreed to speak to the BBC and describe the moment he joined his first Telegram monkey torture group. They had a poll set up, McCartney said. Do you want a hammer involved? 
Do you want pliers involved? Do you want a screwdriver? The re resulting video was, quote, the most grotesque thing I have ever seen. McCartney, a former motorcycle gang member who spent time in prison before entering the monkey torture world, ended up running several telegram groups in which hardcore torture enthusiasts distributed videos. It's no different than drug money, he said. Drug money comes from dirty hands. This money comes from bloody hands. Hopefully the battery is gone. Nope, battery is still going. And remember, this is the short version of this. The BBC also identified two other key suspects who are now being, being investigated by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Stacy Story, a grandmother in her 40s from Alabama, who is known in the community by the name Sadistic, and a ringleader known as Mr. Ape, whose real name we cannot reveal for safety reasons, whatever that means. Mr. Ape confessed in an interview with the BBC that he had been responsible for the deaths of at least four monkeys and the torture of many more. He had commissioned what he called extremely brutal videos, he said. <coughs> Story's phone was seized by Department of Homeland Security agents <coughs> who found nearly 100 torture videos, <coughs> as well as evidence that she had paid for the creation of some of the most extreme videos produced. A 40-something grandmother from Alabama, you can bet she lives in a trailer. According to police sources, Story was active in a torture group as recently as earlier this month. Approached by the BBC in Alabama, Story claimed that she had been hacked and declined to comment on the allegations. I bet she did. Mr. Ape, Stacy Story, otherwise known as Sadistic, and Mike McCartney are three of five key targets in the ongoing Homeland Security investigation. They have yet to be charged, but could, could face up to seven years in prison if prosecuted. Special Agent Paul Wolpert, who is leading the DHS investigation, said everyone involved from law enforcement had been deeply shocked by the nature of the alleged crimes. I don't know if anybody would ever be ready for a crime like this, he said. The same with the attorneys and the juries and anybody who reads this that this is going on. It is going to be a shocker, I think. Anybody involved in buying or distributing monkey torture videos should, quote, expect a knock on the door at some point. You are not going to get away with it. Bullshit. Well... I guess this dying battery is just going to force, uh, all right, what's going on in Indonesia? Police in Indonesia have arrested two torture suspects. Asep Yadi Nurul Hikmah was charged with animal torture and the sale of a protected species and sentenced to three years in prison. M. Ajiz Rajana was sentenced to eight months. Eight months. The maximum sentence available in Indonesia 
for torturing an animal. Monkey torture videos are still easily accessible on Telegram and now Facebook, where the BBC recently found dozens of groups sharing extreme content, some with more than 1,000 members, said Sarah Kite, co-founder of Animal Charity Action for Primates, Quote, we have seen an escalation in this extreme graphic content, which used to be hidden, but is now circulating openly on platforms like Facebook. Facebook told the BBC it had removed the groups we brought to the company's attention, quote, we don't allow the promotion of animal abuse on our platforms and we remove this content when we become aware of it, like we did in this case, blah, blah, blah. Miss Kite also called for UK laws to be updated to make it easier to prosecute individuals who pay for torture videos to be made quote, if something is proactively involved, if someone is proactively involved in inflicting that pain by paying for it and providing a list of things they want done to the animal, there should be stronger laws to hold them to account. YouTube told the BBC in a statement that animal abuse had no place on the platform and the company was working hard to quickly remove violative content. Um, quoting the YouTube statement, just this year alone, we have removed hundreds of thousands of videos and terminated thousands of channels for violating our violent and graphic policies, the statement said. Telegram said it was, quote, committed to protecting user privacy and human rights, such as freedom of speech, adding that its moderators, quote, cannot proactively patrol private groups. Yep. Uh, and of course, Humpty Dumpty, what do you think? I think humans need to go extinct. The sooner, the better. Well, you asked what I think. And anyway, with that, I am going to wrap it up and... Uh, I'm going to go from that story back to Chimpanzee Empire on Netflix to get even more depressed. Bye, guys. <clears throat>